Like the start of most projects, we begin on the miter saw, getting our stock cut to its rough lengths. I'm using a piece of four quarter white oak for this project that I had left over from another project. But you can use whatever else is lying around in your shop or is accessible to you at the big box stores or wherever. So on the chop box, cut your stock here close to its final length, but we'll tighten it up later. Quick trip over to the table saw and I get these boards to their rough width. I clean up one of the faces on each board followed up by one of the edges on the joiner. Then back to the table saw to rip the boards to their final width. This planer makes quick work getting the wood to its uniform thickness. Even if you're using a pre surface material, I recommend a quick pass through a planer just to get all your boards the same thickness. It's not very important on this project, but it's a good habit to get into nonetheless. Finally, back to the chop box and we'll dial in the final length. Now that we're all milled up, we can round over the side of the board that the clips will be on. Once we're done with the router, we'll start sanding. These boards came out of the planer really smooth, but you still need to start at a low grit and work your way up. I went from 120 to 220 on these boards. And remember to hit the edges to remove any saw marks. Time to finish. I lay out some of these super heavy bench dogs and get the Osmo stirred up. For this project, I applied the finish with a rag, but you can use a plastic card or a piece of a white pad. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever works for you. Just get full coverage on the wood and then be sure to remove any extra. I make use of the buffer to make sure all of the excess is removed. Time to lay out the clips. These boards are just over four feet long and I have five clips per board. First, you find the height of all the clips. Once you've established that, you install the outer two and the center one first. Those three have no questions of where they're going. Once you have the outer two and the center one, then you can move to the middle ones, call it two and four, and attach it there. If you do it this way, it just keeps it simple and keeps it fast.
Once you find the wall where you want these boards to go, you start off by finding where the studs are. These boards are set where they go, between a window and a dresser, so I couldn't pre-drill for the holes until I knew where the studs were. Once I found the studs, I pre-drilled into the drywall to make sure they were there, and then set the board on top of those two screws that you see. This way I'm by myself and I can exactly lay out where the studs are on the board. Make reference points on your board where the studs are, and then you can drill in the screws there. Make sure you take them through the board a little bit so there's a little bit of a tip coming out the back. Then put the board against the wall and use the tip of the screw coming out the back of the board to kind of locate where the holes were that you pre-drilled. Once they're there, set one, plop a level on top, and secure it fully. Then take those two screws that you used before and do the same thing for the lower board. Pretty simple all in all. Just remember, once you're done with those two screws that you went into the drywall, throw them out. They're no good anymore. Drywall does a number on screw tips. So toss them in the trash. Then double check everything's level. Everything's good to go. And call your boy in to hang some pictures on the wall. <laughs>